Hey, it's Amanda from Loops and Love Crochet, and I just have a quick video tutorial for you today on making front post and back post double crochet stitches. Uh, these stitches are kind of fun for adding some texture to your crochet projects. Um, I've seen them used in hats or beanies and ear warmers and scarves, uh, just to create some texture in double crochet stitches. And they're quite easy to do. They look a lot harder than they are. Um, so I thought I would do a tutorial on it for you today. So here I've started off with a foundation double crochet and I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel for making foundation double crochet stitches. Uh, this is handy for starting scarves or ear warmers or anything that you have to chain first and then double crochet in each stitch and that's just so you can uh, it kind of creates a nicer finished edge and you can also um, add or remove uh, entire double crochet stitches and the chain as you need it instead of having to pull out an entire row if you need to change something. Um, as an alternative you can do a chain to whatever amount you need and then double crochet in each stitch. So here is my foundation double crochet and I'm just going to join it together. And if you're not working on something that is going to be in the round, that's okay. You don't have to join yours together. I'm going to be using this um, foundation double crochet for working on an ear warmer. So if you check out another video on my YouTube channel, I have a tutorial for making a puff stitch ear warmer that also starts with foundation double crochet uh, stitches as well as front post and back post double crochet stitches. So I've joined with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain two and we're going to alternate front post and back post double crochet stitches. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do a front post double crochet stitch first. So I'm going to go in around the post of my first double crochet and come out the other side. And you can see my double crochet stitch is in front of my hook here. I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to complete my double crochet as I usually would. And then because I'm alternating front post and back post double crochet, I'm going to yarn over and complete my first back post double crochet stitch. So for back post double crochet, you're going to go around the posts from the back of the project. So I'm going around the double crochet, yarning over, pulling the loop back around. And then the same um, for the rest of your double crochet stitch. Okay, so a front post double crochet is next. So I'm gonna yarn over, uh, insert my hook around the post of my uh, double crochet stitch from the front of my project. And yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then the back post double crochet, again, yarn over, insert my hook around uh, the post from the back of my project. So I'm just going in and back out again, yarning over behind my project, pulling that back through, and then completing the rest of my double crochet. Okay, so we'll do this a few more times. Here's another front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet. So a front post again, and back post. And it kind of creates some cool texture here. Um, which you can use if you're working on a beanie or an ear warmer or a scarf. Um, it kind of creates the look of um, some ribbing here. So for example, here's a project that I use front post and back post double crochet stitches at the bottom and at the top of the project. So it kind of creates some cool texture. Uh, this is the puff stitch ear warmer that's on my blog and I do have a tutorial for these puff uh, stitches in between here. Okay. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, you can find more tutorials on my YouTube channel and lots of free patterns on my blog, loopsandlovecrochet.com.